Phillips and the Otter. Huge wide play. He's one of the players that I know he's from. He's been for almost every time him and I look up into the Oh, I'm expecting him to throw you out standing. The only way to beat Hudson, if there is a way to beat Hudson, is to not let his receivers get open. <laughs> so when he runs the five spread on you, good luck with that. Okay, so there's no way to there's no way to stop the machine. You can only hope to slow it down for a little bit. So good luck. And, and you know, people talk about his offense and his passing, but his defense is pretty massive too. So, but it, but it, it escapes notice so right. often because it's overshadowed by the passing and the offensive play and the prowess that he has. Really exciting. Proud to have him in the league. He is a, he's a member from way back when, for I guess one of the founding days. Yeah. So you can say maybe one of the founding fathers of the league, so I'm really excited. All right, let's move on. We've got to talk about uh, Adrian Baxter right now. He plays the Buffalo Bills, another road warrior coming in. So Reggie, why don't you do the honors on this shirt, Mr. Baxter? Adrian uh, Baxter is one of the really outstanding coaches. Really uh, smart, cerebral. Uh, uh, plus, he's a uh, he's really calm and healthy. He coaches all of this. Uh, I'm expecting the Adrian to start off struggling, but as the year goes on, he'll start to step it up. His schedule is, you know, it's 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 uh, average. Uh, I'm expecting him to end up in the uh, playoffs. In this he is that outstanding of a coach. He's still learning in this style. Him and I had an opportunity to tell him he really wasn't in it all the way, and I understood that, but when Adrian is in it, he is one of the best in all of the land. Did he not win a shootout here one year? No, but he actually beat Hudson. That's why we named him Adrian the Dragon Slayer. <laughs> That's a, well, there's automatic respect there. Anybody can take down Hudson. There's automatic respect built in there. So he would have to be a contender for that victory alone. So that's awesome. Yes. All right, let's move on to the, well, first of all, there, there's a lot of teams. Adrian is one of the teams that comes from the Washington, D.C., Virginia area. So uh, somehow that is a mecca for electric football prowess in the, in the nation somehow. So yes. there's a lot of those folks in the league, and we look forward to a lot of those people getting their games completed on that side of the, the Mississippi, too. So that'll be awesome. Anyway, so let's move on to the number one seed last year in the NFC. Uh, Purvis the Pep Woods, man, awesome, awesome uh, player last year. It has the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He's going to have a brand new look this year. Man, those are clean. Those are sweet. He's got the Bucks in all orange pants and shirts, and they're just going to, you know, if, if he plays as good as they're going to look, we're all in trouble this year. He has been slowly climbing the ladder just diligently each year, improving over the last all the way to the NFC Championship game. Played in the Texas shootout last year as, a, as one of the, uh, the final two and uh, went down uh, in, in, in that game, but uh, this year came all the way up to the NFC Championship game and was the number one seed to the NFC and uh, put it on us during the season last year, but we, we got by him in the NFC Championship game, but wow, man, just uh, impressive. He's got, a, he's got a tricky running game you got to be aware of. He's, he's got a defense that is just a monster that will just shut you down. If you can get out of it, then you might have a chance to score, but uh, awesome. He's done well. I don't know if Rich, you've got a comment on him, uh, Mr. Woods? No comment? <laughs> I've uh, got a little comment. Uh, words coming out of Boston on uh, Pep Wood and his Tampa Bay Buccaneers is that any coach throughout the country that plays against Tampa Bay, if you can score 10 to 14 points, you will be in that game. Uh, Pep's offense struggles a little bit at times, but uh, man, uh, don't try to get in a low scoring game with him. We got to watch those special teams. He's got the Galloping Ghost that'll put it on you. So he's, uh, I've seen him uh, pull one out at the last minute at, uh, with a kickoff return for a touchdown. It's really, really exciting. So that was just, that was just stupendous. And uh, Pep is definitely a contender. Yeah, without a doubt, he's a contender. A contender. 
All right, let's talk a second about uh, about someone near and dear to me right now. This happens to be Raider Nation. That uh, that uh, well, was a sophomore year last year. Is that really a full sophomore year? A yeah, full, my yeah. first full, full season year. sophomore year. And you went all the way to the to the, the, the divisional playoff game just before the AFC Championship game. You were winning. You had a play. Uh, the, the, the dice box just rose up and smoked you down. Because you connected a pass, you rolled, I think, a double twos, is that right? Took the, what was I it? I don't remember. It was, All it was, I could say is, uh, yes. is uh, physical mistakes happened in football. We were there, we did everything right, and our receiver just dropped the ball. Against it the happened. great Michael Robinson, it the happened. dice box spoke. We ran the play, the player would have scored. I would have would have gone up and ahead with, with maybe just minutes to go. He would have held. He would have held Michael Robinson most likely because Michael Robinson, I think, I think he scored on a kickoff return. Two kickoffs. Two kickoff returns. And uh, that would have been the name of that game. So it would have been it would have been uh, the Savant passer, Don Hudson, and the Oakland Raiders in the AFC Championship game. One of those two would have gone on to meet the Eagles in the Super Bowl. That would have been a little better for me, maybe. I don't know. It probably <laughs> wouldn't have been. It may not have been at all. So who, who knows what would happen? Well, no, let me tell you. If it would have been the Eagles and the Raiders, you wouldn't have been down there in the last second round to score that touchdown. <laughs> Either because I wouldn't have needed to, or because I never would have had a chance. Exactly. One, one of those two. Anyway, go ahead. Well, I think, you know, the um, Raiders you know, are still third overall in the AFC. reason is...